This week on Zen and Not Zen, Pro Time Edition. And Jason X, and I haven't seen this all the way through, but Jason X, my yeah. brother told me about this, and I know it's in a spaceship or whatever, mm-hmm. but like there is like a scene, and I don't know how this <laughs> plays in with the space, but there's a scene where it, well, it's the titty scene where these two chicks are in Four a days. sleeping bag, and they're like, hey. In space? How- See, this is the thing. is like they're in the backyard. Like, that's why, that's why I was like, this doesn't really vibe with the space thing. Uh-huh. Right, but they're right. in this backyard or whatever. And they're like, <clears throat> they open up this sleeping bag. They're like, hey, whatever. Let's get it on. And then the next scene is Jason. The sleeping bag is now zipped up. And he is oh, now yes, swinging, yes, 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 yes. swinging the closed sleeping bag with the two naked women. He's like clubbing them to death yes. with the ground. Oh my god. Oh you my know what? God. That actually might be Freddy versus Jason. Oh shit, is that why I think so, it I think okay. it is Freddy versus Jason because I fucking love Freddy versus Jason because okay. it's ridiculous. <laughs> so so the kill me, scenes in that are all cause, insane. Okay. Cuz I'm like I don't know why this makes sense cuz I no. think he's in a spaceship. <laughs> no, it's uh, Jason no, you're right. Jason X is the one that's in space, but I think Freddy versus Jason is the one with the two girls in the sleeping bag. Rota. Rota. I need to realize how many of my shirts aren't politically correct. I know. I like it's anytime like, I go dude. somewhere, I'm like, why don't I have any shirts without writing on them? <laughs> well, I, I no, see, I got a lot of shirts with writing, but it's like, I mean, I don't even like have a lot of poke the bear shirts, but it's like, fuck, I couldn't, can't wear that. Yeah, can't wear can't that. Wear those, can't, yeah, those save for to drugs. That's out. Yeah. <laughs> that killed. That killed at the Iron Maiden show, but yeah. that's not. <laughs> <laughs> So what's your next show you're going to? It's Graham Nash tomorrow. Graham Nash, yeah. okay, that's right. Yeah, Portland. I miss Portland, man. Portland's awesome. I need man. to get down there. I uh, I was having a really strong craving for uh, Ghanaian food because I I spent some time in Ghana and I had come across I a couple she was of say Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. Thank you. But there's a fucking asshole. Papua. 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 What kind of food is that? Uh, like, what, well, what? it's West African food, and there is not one fucking West African uh, place in all of Washington State. West I African, Google, just yeah. West Africa. Yeah, and it's very like specific to like the Ivory Coast. So there's there's this stuff called fufu, which is like ground up. Um, I think it's like. Uh, cassava root and okay. it's really gummy but they call it swallow so it's not something it's so it's something you eat your soup with and it doesn't have, I mean it doesn't have like a lot of flavor but it's basically like to fill up your stomach and then it's like a vessel instead of a spoon to get like the soup oh, like ninjera yeah but you don't you wouldn't like <clears throat> chew it you just kind of like didn't swallow it this yeah. fucking picky eater over I here love about ninjera <laughs> it's so good dusting off some fucking culture I'm the it, whitest guy ever I had like three <laughs> hamburgers on my way over here but yeah that, yeah that, yeah, but yeah that's it <laughs> But there is a, a Ghanaian owned restaurant that does all get at like specifically Ghanaian food because there's a Ethiopian places out in Seattle. There mm-hmm. is one maybe I was Nigerian say, I was gonna place. Say you can like, get Ethiopian. In yeah, Seattle. you can get yeah, Eastern you know. African food uh, are is plentiful out out here. But for some reason, for being such a foodie town, like there's very specific foods that like I would assume that we would have up here but Portland actually has them mm, so I was trucks. like craving it so much that I was like I could, we could go down for an 8 o'clock reservation we could be home by like 1am yeah. <laughs> like I could just the drive is le- very doable yeah oh, it's yeah. flat we what it work. 3 hours like I'll yeah, just you know half, yeah, half, yeah, you yeah if you're doing it bullshit. right yeah yeah that's like a podcast, you know, just totally. listen to that shit and get down there. Well, yeah. No, but they, uh, with their food truck scene, which is legit. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, they just have so much more food options down in Portland. That's coming from a place that we have a, a lot of A friend options, of mine who like lived down there for a little bit, very briefly, not, you know, you know, six months here, a year there, or whatever, uh, had a real estate agent who described it as patchy. And that's a really great way mm. to describe it because of, it's not as easy to navigate, not like Seattle's easy to na- navigate, no, right, yeah. but it is easier to navigate yeah. i feel like everything in portland is like capital fucking hill hmm. yes like actually wow i just literally came to that right now but yeah, yeah if i'm gonna compare that like like Same also vibes. vibe too like yeah, yeah it's just yeah. like capital Ooh, hill yeah. with a shitload of capital hills yes. and you have to go through it's capital a big hill capital. to get to them <laughs> yeah. 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 it's like hard to go <laughs> yes sounds like a new like va game or something yeah. you know? <laughs> <clears throat> i love that oh, but portland's fun yeah, i just want to go shit. down and eat 
eat shit. That's Those my donut, favorite. Voodoo yeah. Donuts is kind of overrated. Well, I'll just say it's overrated. Hot take. It, it is. <laughs> it's, <laughs> there, it's the experience, and it's not good enough for me to wait in that line. Like, yeah, if it was something that I could just walk line. up, oh, I've oh. stood in that line, and I've gotten the... And the other thing is, too, I... I'm a basic bitch when it comes to donuts. Yeah. I like just the chocolate or the glaze. So mm. when it's like the big Captain Crunch cookie yeah. dough stuff, I'm like, it's too right. much. It's yeah. like, like I don't need the top of my mouth all razored up and well, shit and from a donut. it's just like too, too Pro sweet tip. for Pro me. Tip, and go, and to the, just, uh, go to the Voodoo Donuts in Milwaukee. Oh. Yeah, because they have a bunch of them and everyone goes to the one downtown by right. Powell's and shit, which is also one of the shittiest parts of town. You know, it's like yeah, you go, yeah, oh, yeah. go to Pike Place Market in Seattle. Cool. That's amazing. Right. Everything around it, not so much. Right. That's it down there. But, uh, yeah, no, I was, I was, of course I had to go, but they had a fucking, they had one with tang on it, mango tango, it had mango and then tang on top of it. Whoa. So of course, I, I mean, that was too much, but of course you got to yeah. buy that. And right. I had one that was like grape ape. It's like grape donut. You don't see grape as often as you think and like yeah, flavoring. Totally. Yeah, totally. Oh. Yeah, see, I just want like a bite of them. I'm curious, no, but not thing. enough like, to like want to like. I would, I would sit. rather have a fucking cake pop version yeah. of like four of yeah, these fucking right. things. They, like yeah. these donuts Voodoo are donuts, gigantic. If you are listening, you should order. You should, you should make a donut fucking, cake pop. You should listen to the people that testing. don't go there and don't <laughs> yeah, buy that from don't, you. Yeah, that don't want to sit <laughs> yeah, in yeah, line all, for all your the product. All the that have no problem buying like forty dollars worth of like a dozen donuts. I go there, I buy like two, and I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, right. Yeah, I think the only time I've ever bought mass donuts there was if it was for like a, a work event. Like CDA. Yeah, thing, yeah we yeah. were doing shit like that. They yeah. always do that. It's definitely, no, I mean, it's it's cool. And like, I, I actually kind of still feel a bit, I won't say FOMO, but I do want to try the actual voodoo, the little guy, the little voodoo donut. Yeah, the little the actual <laughs> like voodoo the donut. Eclair, whatever the fuck it is, was yeah. probably some bullshit inside. It tastes like, like they just, they taste like donuts. Yeah, they're, they're pretty fine. fucking dense, yeah. actually. And yeah. I, I prefer a. Uh, I prefer a Krispy Kreme. Like oh, I, oh, you like okay. a butter. Well, my, my, actually, <laughs> my favorite kind of donut is the kind you get at the grocery store. Like those type of donuts that, like that are not donuts. the cake oh. donuts. Like the, the airy, yeasty yeah, ones. Like yeah, those are my, that's my shit. Yep. Like just a chocolate graze, maybe a sprinkle one. Like that is all I need in a donut. Not a cake donut though. No, well, I'll eat a cake donut, uh, yeah, but I'm I don't kick enjoy it out them bed, as much. Yeah. I'm not going to kick it out like, of bed. Like it's not like, yeah, like cake donuts. Here's a cake <laughs> yeah. donut. Like, ooh, get away. No, I'll eat that thing. Yeah, but I would, I would go, yeah, yeah. same. If I, I like had a choice, it basic. Safeway donut every day of the week. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know what it is. I think it's the texture of it. I like that it's not like too heavy, so I can well, have see, a bunch see, of See, like, I'll fuck, I'll fuck with, you know, guilty pleasures and shit like Safeway Chinese because it's terrible, but it's yeah. like fucking it's like they it's like free <laughs> yeah maybe it's, it's not, like nostalgia it's, or something but I, yeah those the, but the, i like that texture see, but it's funny i don't think i've ever had a grocery store donut now that i think about it with the exception of cake donuts fresh the only time i've had grocery store donuts is when you're buying the like dozen day old motherfuckers yeah. with the yellow sticker over it uh-huh. it's like it's 2.99 yeah. <laughs> just it's get it. 2.99 totally Shit, man, i'm gonna stop on my way home that get some fucking donuts good. yeah fuck yeah day old donut. i'll eat them day old that's fine yeah. hell yeah exactly. i'm in the microwave the that's fine it's exactly Whatever. i'm not picky pop in the microwave huh yeah just wave like that up huh? five, like five seconds yeah. eight really? seconds just like enough to like yeah just enough to get it uh unstiff uh, yeah. Yeah. Not to heat. There's it a up. place that's got badass soft serve up on Capitol Hill that I need to try. Ooh, which one? Milk drunk. Oh, oh yeah, and there's another spot. one. Oh, I uh yeah, milk. That that one was just opening up. And apparently I think it's a an LA chain that moved up here. Mm. Or milk bar. Milk bar was the one mm. I was thinking of, I think, that opened up, up But here. like soft serve. I miss like... menchies, man. I like a good menchies. Just let oh, me really? let me pick and See, like, I mean, I haven't fucked, like, McDonald's soft serve is legit, and yeah. I haven't fucked with one of yeah. those in, like, 20 years. Oh, I got always... one recently, a hot fudge sundae. How oh. was it? Oh. So good? It, it, it's got it fudgy in the bottom really and shit. Dude, I love oh. when it gets hard, yeah. like, the fudge, you can kind of, oh, it's the best. I do miss it that. Was good. Chunks, of, yeah, it totally it holds so up. Good. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy the soft serve at McDonald's. But yeah, so that, that's so, nostalgia it, for me. So, yeah. so, I mean, I dig that, for what I understand, because I've never worked with it in my years in restaurants, I understand soft Soft serve is actually disgusting if you actually get down to it. Kind of like hot dogs. If you find out about sure. it, it's like whatever. Yeah. You know, because it's like a, some prepackaged shit that goes into a machine. Oh, like the McDonald's soft serve is pure chemicals just frozen up. But it's delicious. For sure. But yeah, it's, it's great. And it tastes the same. But so, the, so that intrigues <laughs> me is to like those restaurants <laughs> in your neighborhood yeah. that have like artisan fucking right. soft yeah, serve. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. all right, let's just see, let's throw this shit on a fucking fresh baked waffle cone. Yeah. No, I like a, I like a menchies where I can just pick. Huh. 
Yeah, my kids, that was my excuse to like, go to Menchie's and shit like that. Yeah. It's like, yeah, let's do that. Just, I want to like, put like gummy Heath bears bar. and like just fucking all fucking kinds of Heath, shit. What are you, there. fucking 68 years old? I love Heath Bar. <laughs> I love Heath Bar and vanilla ice cream. I almost That's bought a fucking. I uh, so I was, in the, I was over visiting <laughs> my it. parents out on the like the plateau area. Well, not the fucking plateau, but Hood Canal area. Yeah. And I was swinging by one of the tribal gas stations. I saw Fifth Avenue Bar, and I'm like, fuck, have I not seen one of those (laughs) in 15 years, or have I just not been looking? Which also makes me... Do you have any Clark Bars back there? I have not seen Clark Bar. (laughs) So yeah, I was like, Fifth Avenue, I'm like, holy fuck, and now I'm actually thinking, I haven't seen a O. Henry in a bitch either, so I don't know. You can't even make those. Isn't O. Henry the one that's just like honey or something like that? No, that's Bitto Honey. Bitto, of course. In oh, Henry, is that, what is O Henry? Is that the caramel? Just no, like, I think it was like chocolate caramel with nougat. Was it not, was that all? It was I mean, I never bought the Let's motherfucker. So this is uh, like probably well, why I, can, I, I mean, I love three musketeers. I don't know if I've yellow, actually yellow ever packaging eaten one. with big block print, right? Oh, Hen- yeah, I can see the packaging. It is, ooh, yeah, it's not one I don't think I'd want. It looks like a lot of peanuts. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I tried a chocolate Crunchy com- peanuts, chewy fudge, creamy <laughs> caramel, covered in chocolate coating. All right, I'll yeah, fuck with that. Yeah, it's fine. I, I don't so like the big whole peanut ones. Those are too intense for me. Yeah, like the baby I mean, that's, that's good radio right there. Kenzie reading off the description. <laughs> yeah. of like, Let's see. Yeah. Crunchy, crunchy mm. peanuts, caramel. Here, we'll we'll and take, we'll take two. Crunchy peanuts, yeah. <laughs> yeah. chewy fudge, creamy caramel, you, covered in a chocolatey coating. That's pretty good. That's You're gonna want to eat that. Nice. Oh, there's a <laughs> French one. I can't do that. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, Henry. Yeah, my brother uh, and his wife have uh, bowls of those bite-sized uh, like candy bars all over their house. Just it's year all, round, all, all yeah. year round. Oh, it's like my those favorite are my thing favorite about their house. Kind yes. of people. I go there and there's like Twix and little. Oh fucking, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Three yeah. Musketeers, the Milky Way darks. That's my jam. I love. Oh, those you sick Milky fuck! Dark. You're the asshole that gets those. Hey man, they're good. Get fucked, I like man. that packaging. It's pretty exciting. It is. Packaging. It's nice. Like a little purple. purple and yeah. black. Yeah. <laughs> I bought a big, uh, a mini, a fun size of, of Snickers because that's my favorite. Well, one of my Yo. favorites during Halloween, and it, the bag didn't make it more than a couple of days. So right, if now, I am going to be one of those houses, like I need to really stock so, up. So well, yep. well, also you got to be like you got to if you're going to be one of those houses, well, do it. If it's also something that I know that I'm doing regularly maybe i'll eat them less but like if i know it's just like oh it's just this one bag and it's a treat then i feel like i eat more so maybe Straight if it's up, just like... like it is <laughs> i am by no means a large person but those fucking fun size bars don't tell me i've gotten bigger those sons of bitches are smaller like yeah. when we were kids when we were kids they're at like, least half of like, a candy bar like oh uh, yeah well, there's like three be, sizes yeah, now they, when, uh, well, no but like the Fun size back in the day, like when we were kids, yeah. you'd literally like make two of those, and that would be a full size fucking candy bar. Yeah. Now I would be, I would, I mean, this is, this is awesome gorilla math here, but I would bet you <laughs> yeah. fucking four and a half of those bitches to make one of those. You know what we should make, do? We should do an experiment. Looking at net buy, weight. We should. Well, we should just put them side by side, and then maybe net weight. We got yeah. Yeah. We bring a scale no, but those in. things were fucking huge back in the day. Yeah. I got down on the shit and I eat the hell out of those. But see, things see, back but in the see, day. you know, uh, uh, Aaron and T Bone fucking are, you know, em- empty nests though. They can afford to do that shit. <laughs> right. Like That's it's not the really a thing though. That's like, the like, beauty. I buy space. They're dinks. If, Double income, no kids. If if, yes. I, if if I had a house, you know, I would do something of that version as well. And yeah. that's something you don't do if you have fucking kids. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. That's a that's a terrible idea. But they have dogs. The dogs don't don't fuck with it. It's yeah. great. I mean that's that's good like... for them. They have candy <laughs> all over the house. Yeah, oh, they have look like just little candy bowls here and there. That is like know? that's so good. That is personal freedom at its best. I love that. Yeah, yeah that's great. personal. Choices. That is that is the prime example of shit you don't do if you have kids. Yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> I mean, outside well, of, outside of the other obvious ones, but like that is a very subtle thing that does not happen in houses with children. No. Yeah. Yeah, even now, my my youngest as a guy kid, who always has a fuck ton of candy in his house, I can preach to this, dude. So <laughs> I I started eating. Well, I've, I've been eating dark chocolate for a while now, but it, the thing, one of the things I love about it is my kids don't like dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Kids, so it's right? all yours. Yeah, it's, but it's worth it to just a, a, a develop and acquire taste to it, so you, no one else, because no one else likes dark chocolate, right. so you get it all to yourself. 
Yes, that's what I thought. Genius. But my youngest daughter, Harper, has now acquired a taste Damn for it, dark Harper. chocolate because that's the only chocolate I have. Yeah, like my fucking so dad's likes diabetic it, like, candy and shit when I was a kid. It's like, that's the bad. No, that shit sucks. No. Yeah. But you're like, <laughs> when it's the only thing there. Yeah. Right, yeah. It's like when you only have five channels, you don't realize, you know. Yeah, gluten-free, vegan. Actually, gluten-free and vegan, they're doing it much better now. Like, I remember the first couple times I had like a gluten-free brownie or something. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't, not, not, I don't care for this that much. Yeah. But now, like, if you go to Whole Foods and get something gluten-free or vegan or what like that, like, it's delicious. Fuck yeah. I vegan jerky. It. There's one brand oh, it's like of vegan mushroom, jerky. Isn't it? Huh? M- vegan, vegan jerky, isn't it like mushroom or I think it's like, like seitan maybe or okay. uh, something like that. Um, but there's one that Whole Foods has, and I can't remember the brand name, but it was so fucking good. And the one thing I can't wait for vegan food to come down to regular pricing mm. because you get like four pieces and it's $8. Right. But like, I want it, I, I want to live in a world where they're as prevalent, <laughs> prevalent as like a Slim Jim pack or right. something. You yeah, know like what I mean? Like Costco and get a yeah, fucking pallet of that Like shit. a 99 cent vegan thing. <clears throat> It will. Yeah, it will. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, just like electric cars and everything. Yeah. You know, like the more the more people are moving towards that. Yeah. Hopefully, the the less expensive it becomes. Yeah, it will. It will for sure. I mean, I think what the Beyond Burger when they first started testing that, it, it was like theoretically like a thousand dollars a burger. Yeah. Because they're doing some some stuff with like chicken right now, like um, uh, uh, lab grown meat. Uh huh. And uh, they're they're having a lot of success with it. Actually, it's really interesting. But um, like, it's. I think it's for a four ounce burger. It's like a hundred thousand dollars. Jesus. So. Well, I remember when Beyond Meat was like being created because it wasn't that long ago, mm-hmm. and I remember having to look up on their website where I could get it, and it was always sold out, and it was mm-hmm. on like a, the alert of like it's at Whole Foods or it's at Safeway, and now what it's, I would do and now for it's Crystal like a fucking Albertsons. <laughs> That's everywhere. It's yeah, in it's restaurants so all over the place. I know we're headed in that direction yeah. for sure. Yeah, I can't wait for it. You gonna you gonna give uh, you gonna give out uh, full size candy bars to trick or treaters or just the yes? no? I'm gonna give out a locked door and lights off. Are oh, you just gonna give them a bowl? Huh? No, I'm just not gonna give them shit. Ah. There, I, when I lived in my apartment, <laughs> one day, I love that response. But holy shit, she looked at me like she's like. Cause fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> want them to fucking not get and, anything. And I'm and like, holy I shit! I haven't seen. When I lived in Woodenville, I put a note on my door that was just like, "No fun zone" or something like that, where I was like, "Not home. Don't even try. Don't even the fucking knock." Oh my god! That's but we, I, I've always lived in apartment buildings, and we I, we, I think we have like a baby in our apartment uh, building, but I don't think we have any kids, kids in our apartment building. So we won't have any trick or treaters. I, I, I think I only really had trick or treaters one time when I lived in Kirkland, like fucking 15 years ago. Yeah. And of course, like, we, I would be a bull house though. If I had a house with trick or treaters, I would put a bull Oh no, bowl we got, we got fucked up and just waited. We had a lot of fun doing that. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, but it was like, <laughs> but, but, but it's oh, just God. like, so much of that candy, like towards the end, just like, oh, well, I have no regrets about buying all this shit, but you never really get it right. And then, of yeah. course, you're also like, when the kids do show up, you start giving away too much. And then you're just like, when they come back, like, fuck, we're that house. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it's because, like, when I run out, I, I we don't want to. didn't wanna... run out, though. Oh, well, good for you. Yeah. 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 We, uh, we don't get trick or treaters. Like, we might this had... year, though. Well, you got the kids next door. Yeah, in this, in this, we're in a new house now, but we were in the other house for like almost six years, and we Fuck always you. had stuff there. Yeah, we're there for a grip, and uh, never got any trick or treaters. That surprises most me. Most people, seems like a kid. Well, I think most people in this area go to like malls or go uh, to like controlled area because I, I know there's schools will let their parking lots, yes, and then their yeah, kid, yeah, the yeah. parents come with their uh, yeah. trunks open and shit. For sure, but. My kids live over in eastern Washington, and they live on, literally, it's called Candy Mountain. They live on Hershey Lane. What? <clears throat> yeah, so like Skittles Lane, M&M Lane, Hershey Lane. That is like all so shit. cool. Yeah, it's great. Are they all made out of, they made out of their respective rally? candies? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, Why the fuck yes, am I just yeah. out about this? <laughs> this is in the state. So, yeah, uh, so... At their house, uh, they give out king size candy bars. Oh! And they have they they built this during COVID, but now they just use it because it's fun. Oh, the they have a chute, yeah, that goes from their uh, oh. front door down. Because they also live like kind of up a steep. Their driveway is kind of steep, 
but uh, but they go all out. They do oh, all yes. the things, and they love it. So yeah, it's really fun to listen to them talk about it. Yeah, like I, I don't really have any luck with that oh shit. God. Bartell Drugs started their uh, the Halloween candy pyramid tournament. Tournament of like what's the best Halloween candy? Like March Madness for candy. <laughs> oh, I didn't really lie. I was looking at the brackets. The seating looks a little fucked up. Obviously, it's Reese's peanut butter cups. Yeah, we'll see. I was Which just size, gonna say. Though? I was gonna say. I was gonna. Say, well, if we're gonna go there, the then it's the small, small ones, ones. Small yeah. ones wrapped yeah. in foil. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> a thousand percent. Yeah. But those it was best. like I mean that or Snickers is gonna win. Yeah, those are my top two. Ah, Twix always gets me in there too. I love me a Twix. Yeah, those are fun. The cookie with the what? The spider. Oh, see those. Those are good luck. As like, long as they stay over there. You know what Yeah. Yeah. I All went right. to the uh, the Spirit of Halloween Town a couple oh, years nice. ago. Oh, nice. What building did they take over? Okay, so... What favorite business of yours did they move <laughs> into? <laughs> so, it's in... It, it's in it, have you ever seen the movie Halloween Town? It was a, a, Disney, a, a Disney TV movie <laughs> with Debbie Reynolds... Oh. And Kimberly J. Brown. No, it was like from the so. '90s. It's a classic. If you got if you got Disney Plus, you can watch it still. I do. Yeah, um, I'll check it out. But it was like I fucking loved it, and apparently a bunch of other kids from my generation also loved it. But the town that that was actually filmed at opened up for the first time ever to like have people come down, and that I think we went in like 2018 or 2019, and we found it on Facebook or something like that. So me and Mandy and a couple other um, friends, we all drove down there, and thinking it would just be like this. Like, 20 people might be there. Like, it's a very niche audience. This town was... There had to have been 15,000 people that showed up. Holy and this town fuck. was not prepared for it at all. Oh, the no. restaurants ran out of food. The employees at restaurants didn't were turning people away. There had no bathrooms. Like, nothing was set wow. up. And the thing was, is they had brought the, the lead actress from the movie, Kimberly J. Brown, who's like my age now. She was gonna come visit, and they and the town square is all like rebuilt, like how they did in the movie. And it, Mandy and like I, fucking Woodstock. climbed on Damn. top of a roof, uh, in downtown because there were so <laughs> many people you couldn't see anything, and we you trespassed on someone's oh, property. It was lawless. <laughs> yeah, there lawless. were so many people there. Like the you police a small were child overwhelmed. There. Yeah, right. Like and then imagine the it smallest for a fucking town in in Oregon that you can imagine that has maybe a oh hundred like no smaller than that it's it, the 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 town probably had maybe a thousand people in it like oh, imagine shit. like 20,000 people descending upon like Oak Harbor or something like that oh, like fuck. that's they like Sturgis just, every year it, yeah. it was insane so Adam how was Sturgis this year oh, it was fantastic yeah, 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 yeah. the assless chaps went over like a breeze <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, but now, but they learned their mistake, and the, and the the PA system was like somebody's amp. Like oh, everything wow. was just basic as fuck because they, they didn't were, think they were expecting they were, like wow. two hundred people, it, the same as we were. Like it was like you would just. I, I was like, there's no way more than five hundred people are going to go to this, and the entire town also thought that, and like fifteen thousand people came. But now oh they have their own Instagram page, and now people from like what we do in the shadows, and like people from legit. Horror movies are now descending upon this town, but now they have their shit together and they oh, have like a parade and stuff now. But like, I was like, what forks had to learn? It will not. It will not beat that lawlessness feeling. Like there was just no controlling this crowd. You're just like I'm like, leaving my car and I'm just going to walk. <laughs> truly, like the police just we were they were completely outnumbered, and we the, the fact that we were on the roof with like 20 other people just chilling. Like, yeah. just nobody <laughs> stop us. Who was we, the first one? Yeah. Who knows? But now know. we're all here. Yeah. Exactly. It was fucking great. That was my probably my most fun Halloween I've ever had. So just I'm gonna, total I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look up the press on that. Yeah, I'm Spirit of Halloween. First year of Spirit of Halloween Town. It was mayhem. <laughs> oh, Absolute so mayhem. And you could just see the shock on the organizer's face because it's like the librarian and like and she's just like, oh, it'll just, be great. We'll just have this nice little this, thing. Like there are two restaurants in town that was one that was like quote seafood and then the other one that was Italian and it have thousands of people in line to just uh. get because there was no there were no convenience stores there was really no grocery wow. stores to just buy food like they were sending people two hours away to like try to get them to a hotel there was no place for anybody to stay it was incredible wow. it was awesome I think I still have Dude, I've worked restaurant there. shifts that sound like that yeah it was yes. Jesus Christ absolutely man. Fuck. Could you imagine those poor locals? 
I oh yeah I, I, they I'm were like oh yeah here we go okay. so much right now <laughs> so this, like, this I, was the, the the town square that we were at all right. and that was like at the start of the day and they had like little things like this set up like you know yeah. like they made it you know okay. like oh, it was cute. just yeah. kind of cute and then uh okay so that's the the lady that started right. in it and she was just walking amongst people that were all trying to grab at her and then Jesus this is what it Christ. looked like so that's what the downtown looked like. Oh like fucking God. fire trucks. <laughs> oh and that's just boy. one side of it. Wow. Like imagine that filled the complete wow. tiny, tiny little So dude, that's town. like that looks like Bourbon <laughs> Street on fucking Halloween. Oh, Oof. absolutely. Completely, <laughs> completely, absolute mayhem. Oh yeah. Oh, here's a better picture. So that little tiny pumpkin. Holy shit. Is the center of, of the, that the is town. Daunting. That is daunting. Just people Fuck. fucking everywhere. It was wow. the best. It was Just the best. on somebody's roof. Yeah. We took that from like, <laughs> I don't even know how we found it, but we're like, we got to get out of here because we're getting smushed. It's, 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 <laughs> like, so... it's like how I ended up in that luxury box at that tool show. Oh, yeah. It's like, I don't know. How, I know exactly how, how, I, I, know it's how I, I followed somebody in there. Uh-huh. But like. The question is, if your friends climb up on a roof that you're not allowed on, would you do it? Yeah. Yes, I would. Yeah, yes, see, the I best would. part Peer of pressure. this is I, my friends can answer, answer that question. I actually cannot answer that question because that guy was not my friend. If a complete stranger goes into a luxury box and yes. you don't think he belongs in there, yes, you do follow him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally. This is co- blind confidence. Yeah, you know? exactly. That's worked so many times for me. You yeah. know, just pretend like you need to be where you're supposed to be. It's a secret. And you're do- Ask busy for doing forgiveness, something. not permission. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> That's how we snuck into the gorge. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. That's Heavily right, tattooed yeah. man. A guy behind me had a, Got a lanyard or something. And then it was a cute woman. And we all had wristbands of some sort. Mm-hmm. We're like, let's walk in. And then somebody, I think you were saying, like, grab a garbage can. Garbage can. Oh, yeah. that is garbage so can and a high vis vest. <laughs> yeah. a yellow like construction vest and a garbage can. Oh, so good. Don't have the balls to do that. My buddy at the Iron Maiden show uh, last Thursday literally took a photo of Climate Pledge staff. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'll just fucking wear this and I'll just tell people to do shit. <laughs> yes. It was like a puffer vest and like a green plaid. That's like, it. Like you could find a pretty close facsimile of that yeah. flannel. Yeah. And oh, then yeah. just black pants. Give yourself a, fla- a little tiny flashlight or something. Uh-huh. Just something of importance. Yep. Yeah. Just blend right in. All of a sudden, idea. you're just like doing I mean, a bathroom check. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. <laughs> well, so, yeah. Just go up to another point. I just check three. I just yeah. want to make it. Just check three. <laughs> yeah, use like the complete yeah, wrong. Just, oh, that new guy's like, great. Yeah. <laughs> it's really on top of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, the last couple of times, and uh, I've been to shows, actually, the last few shows, because of the, all of the metal detectors, it's always a real haphazard procedure between walking in, going in through the metal detector, and then going and getting your phone scanned or whatever. And say probably one out of every two times there's probably an opportunity to just go into the fucking show oh yeah absolutely. like like you know i, I even at the storm don't... games it felt like that i'm like yeah, i could just walk right yeah, now yeah i could just fucking walk as this lady <laughs> sitting there going um yeah hold on could you could yeah, you, okay. yeah. i'm like okay <laughs> just, could you could you watch scans. me walk the fuck yeah. by you yeah <laughs> Who's wearing a storm jersey? Yeah, <laughs> Actually, I, I fucking dude, I would get, dude, I get, I get picked for crimes I didn't commit. You know, as a fucking most descript white male I've found <laughs> for crimes I didn't commit. <laughs> like, don't invite me to your bank robbery. I'm like, well, I know he was there. I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> God, I mean, yeah, I was talking about Zeppelin during the fucking crime. Yeah. I get it, but like. Nobody cares what the best album is. We're being robbed right now. Probably probably <laughs> physical robbed. graffiti, but you know, we'll talk about that. Yeah, later. that's another podcast. Speaking of which, we were gonna talk about something else, but I guess the definition of this podcast is the definition of what we're talking about, right? Yes. Right. Our freedom to not talk about what we were thinking we were gonna talk about. Right. See yeah. what I did? Personal choice. Personal yeah. choice. Yeah. Uh, well, it's you know, collective. Collective soul is what it was, huh? I was oh, listening yeah. to Collective Soul yesterday. <laughs> nice. It came Fucking up. Great nice. 90s, man. Oh, shit. Picking your cousins up from soccer practice. <laughs> I actually saw Collective Soul probably three <laughs> times, <laughs> three or four times. Now. Nice flex. Uh, Are you a Christian flex. Well, no. It's, I don't think they were. I mean, they do have that song, Shine. <laughs> Heaven let your light shine girl, down. Girl, girl. That's a good song. Yeah, it's great. But great. Uh, their, their, their uh, performance stage presence is fantastic. It was really great. I saw them once on their own tour. I can't remember which, where it was at <clears throat> as far as their, their music catalog goes. But 
And then I think the other three ish times were with like radio festivals, like you know the would, Buzzfest or something. Pro like that, tip: you know? I will tell you their their greatest hits. That is a phenomenal listen. Yeah. As far as greatest hits go, as far as greatest hits bands, I forgot how many songs of theirs. I they, 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 yeah. they, they 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 hammered them out. They yeah. spread them across a bunch of fucking shit you see at Goodwill. Saw Da Vinci <laughs> Code at Goodwill. Oh, uh, you did? Oh, I was at Goodwill, but you would, uh, you know, I was like, ah, I'll leave them alone. Yeah. But literally, I, I literally was like gonna text you fucking assholes. <laughs> I have the should've. photo on my phone. I'm like, oh, Dan yeah, Brown. Man. Dan you Brown. always have permission to <laughs> text us a picture. It doesn't matter what's going on. Hey guys, I'm going radio silence. A lot of things are going on. But here's Da Vinci. <laughs> Here's a copy of Da Vinci yeah. Code. Here's Doctor a who might the want to yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't have time because it was like people actually looking at CDs. Like, oh, you're actually like fucking looking at CDs. But I was gonna scan for Space Space Jam or Hootie and the Blowfish, but mm-hmm. I didn't have time. Yeah, I have, but yeah. yeah, no, Dan Brown did not disappoint. You should check it out when you're in Portland. Just. Just for sure. I don't think I'm going to go to a Goodwill, mm. uh, but yeah, I'm always down to do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm down to test this theory. I mean, it's, yeah, hey, it's been it's been working out for me so far. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Actually, you know, CDs I think are making a little comeback because vital's so fucking expensive. Well, not only yeah. that, but a lot of the cars that kids are buying now are like had CD yeah. players. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, because like Cassie, one of our friends, Peyton, my daughter, those cars have CD players, right. and the, the, the they don't even know they don't even know. C- Computers don't have disk drives anymore. Yeah, totally. Yeah. You have to put a fucking di- in, like I still have a burner drive. Oh yeah, yeah. Both right. my cars like, don't have CD players in them. No, yeah, no. Well, my new does, laptop doesn't. Does. But like I've had to like I haven't had to burn a CD in fucking yeah. forever. But like yeah, that'll blow a fucking fifteen year old's mind when we talk about like yeah we used well, to I mean, burn that's CDs. Why we had to, I had tapes in my car. I remember the the tape that you had to put a wire to oh, yeah. to like stick in the cassette yep. player. So the you could put, yes, Edpo yep. Jack on that yep. Kenwood. Kidwood CD player, man. Fuck yeah, yep. man. Yeah, they don't make those for CD players. They, uh, they uh, the best you can do is like a, uh, what's it like a station finder, right? So yeah, you, have you can like, do the Bluetooth. You can do the Bluetooth yeah. FM or AM tuner. Yeah, that that's, sounds kind of shitty, but that's that kind of shitty. But but yeah, all these they're, yeah they're getting like a stock yep. 2002 Honda Prelude yes. with exactly. 148 thousand <clears> miles <throat> on it. God. Damn. I like those auto preludes. Those were cool cars. <laughs> well, no, these are all great cars, but it's just like, uh, yeah, they're they're fucking pissed off about this. We would have been like, would have been our wet dream back yeah. in high school. Like, <laughs> oh, fucking prelude. Well, not me. I would have been like, uh, fucking but, Geo Metro. What'd you drive in high school? Oh, I wish I drove a prelude. I drove a '95 Chevy Cavalier. But see, this is the other okay, thing. Okay. It's like, you know, check your privilege at the door. I drove a car. I didn't pay for it. Right. Yeah. 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 You know. Yep. Yeah, I so, cycled through a couple cars in high school. Yeah, I've, my I've, first car was uh, a 1983, 1983 280s or nineteen eighty seven. Dotson two eighty. Nice. Oh yeah, my yeah. dad. Had yeah. A Dotson it was for my uncle's, while. and he drove it from Seattle down to. This is Phoenix, a terrible joke. But they were Tucson. grooming you for lesbian them. They were. <laughs> I, I don't know. It worked. You know, you know the Dotson two eighty Z. You just automatically go lesbian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the cargo shirts. Either a either, top, either a coke top. dealer or a lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> Never like, the twain shall meet. In my case, both. <laughs> yeah. Dots and Go be a lesbian. I've been to watch that show. Yeah. It's fucking great. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, me too, Good car. So that was your first car. Yeah, that was my first car, yeah. Yeah, my dad had a Dots, and I don't think it was a Z, but he had a, we started it with a screwdriver. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a, it was a I loved it because it would talk Remember to you like, Die Hard door 3? open. Samuel L. starts the fucking car with the switchblade on Die Hard 3. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Can you hotwire this? Of course I can. I'm an electrician. <laughs> Only problem is, it takes too fucking long. That was a great Die Hard. Yeah, dude. I like Sam Jackson. Dude, I was, I, I've was. i said this before, but that the previews for the fourth Die Hard was like, Die Hard 4 is going to make Die Hard 3 look like Die Hard 2. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. If it fucking does. If it fucking does. Oh, my God, if it is does. Is Die Hard 4 the live for your Die Hard? I believe. Or a good, good day to Die Hard? I think it was... Ooh. Something like that? It might be a good day to Die Hard. I think and Live then, Free or Die Hard is the fifth one. Yeah. Fifth one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the new one. I only the, saw the fourth. I didn't hate I, that one. I like that one. The, the, yeah. No, I was entertained. Yeah. You know? Oh, oh, speaking of Die Hard, I found <laughs> a new version of Die Hard for my new... It's like, because everyone watches Die Hard for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I, I don't not like Die Hard, but it, you know, I'll watch it for 
you know, Christmas purposes. Yeah. Uh, but I rewatched A Long Kiss Goodnight recently. Oh, and it Samuel blo- L. and Gina and Davis. Gina Davis, I never Davis, actually that's saw right. that movie. Let me right. tell you something about this movie. It is so much better than Die Hard. Oh. It holds up, and it's a Christmas movie, and we rewatched it recently, and I was like, oh, this is our new Christmas movie that we're watching. This is our new fucking Die I Hard. I never saw that. It, it looked, is on. It is free been a while right so now. It is, you fucking saw that? I've seen it, yeah. Oh, I, seen I, it. I remember watching it when I was a kid, <laughs> and everyone like hated it because I think it was the follow-up to her League of Their Own, so people were like... Yeah. Didn't know what yeah, to do with timing, Gina Davis, the was right. so it didn't get great reviews. But I think it was more because people just didn't like seeing Gina Davis in a kick-ass role. They wanted to see Dottie Henson, right? And right. it is, it is fucking it pretty feminist, and she's kick-ass in it. It's hilarious. Long kiss, good night. It holds up. Fuck, I'm gonna wow. watch it tonight. Uh, this is a, a promo. A, if you need a new Christmas movie, that's Long a Kiss Good Night. That's a deep. So pull. good. My so favorite. Good. I'll just give you my favorite Christmas movie. Out of sight of Die Hard, uh, the ref. Oh, oh, I love yeah. the ref. The ref's fucking, great. fucking Judy oh Davis. Oh my god, dude, oh. it's so goddamn good. Dennis yeah. Leary, one of my favorite. I mean, he was one of my favorite comedians growing up. No oh, yeah. cure for cancer. I, yeah, yeah. I, that I can tape. recite that fucking. I had album. that on tape when I was a Jesus kid. Jesus Christ. The ref is another one where people like. I feel, I feel like nobody talks about the ref, and then all of a sudden I've been hearing so many people being like, "Oh fuck, I love the ref during Christmas time." I was like, I didn't think anyone else watched that movie because it's kind of like me. It was like candle it's so hats. Good. Yeah, the candle hats. The, <laughs> the story she said. Yeah. <laughs> These are traditional crowns that you would wear <laughs> in ceremonial. Oh my god! And then the mom in that, she's such a fucking. Oh just yeah, tough yeah woman. Judy Davis, man, she is so. <laughs> it, it's a stat cast. <clears throat> that movie's yeah. great. Yeah, I love The Ref, too. There are a bunch of Christmas movies like that I love. Yeah, Mon and I try I'm to I'm in Halloween that. movie mode. We try to watch at least one at one a day oh. during Halloween. All right. Or or 31. So if we have to double up on the weekends, we do. Oh, that's but, a nice yeah. challenge. Yeah. So, yeah. For, for, so for Christmas or Halloween, you do both or no? Well, for Christmas, not so much because there isn't as many that I enjoy yeah. watching. Like, I mean, there's enough, but I feel like with... Uh, horror movies there's so many shitty uh, yeah. horror movies that i love putting on and like all the old like sleepaway camp or um uh, uh, fucking april fools like those types of like horror movies i love watching like campy ones yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really I, think old I, I think i told you ones. about a uh, buddy of mine when he was halloween uh, yeah when he was halloween. bedridden after he, he hurt his foot he watched all the friday the 13th movies in one fucking day because it was like those are all like 80 minutes long. Yeah. yeah. So he that, literally. You just have them on the background. That's why I like oh them. Oh my God. But like, I mean, when he told me that, I'm like, oh shit. I didn't, know you, were, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know you were doing that bad, man. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking tell, reach out, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's right next door. It's right next door. I'm down the hall, man. Come on, man. Fucking oh, literally. Fuck. No, but I'm like, shit, that is a good challenge because it was yeah. it was like the box set and it was like all, this is before like the all the other ones. But yeah. like, I think. One to goes to hell is like eight or nine movies. Oh, Damn. Yeah. Damn. I mean, now they've done like Jason X and the Space. Right. And all yeah, that. and I love all those. Uh, so you've seen. I, I've, ones I haven't too. seen the new ones. So I think it's. Oh, I mean, they're terrible, but they're like good, <laughs> terrible. I just, so yeah, I love, so I you've love heard me movies. talk about this probably before, but in Jason X, and I haven't seen this all the way through. But Jason X. My yeah. brother told me about this, and I know it's in a spaceship or whatever, mm-hmm. but like there is like a scene, and I don't know how this <laughs> plays in with the space, but. There's a scene where it, well, it's the titty scene where these two chicks are in Fortress. a sleeping bag and they're like, "Hey, in how? space." See, this is the thing is like they're in the backyard. <laughs> like that's why, that's why I was like, this doesn't really vibe with the space thing. Uh-huh. Right, but they're right. in this backyard or whatever, and they're like, they open up this sleeping bag. They're like, "Hey, whatever, let's get it on." And then the next scene is Jason. The sleeping bag is now zipped up, and he is oh, now yes, swinging, yes, 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 yes. swinging the closed sleeping bag with the two naked women. He's like clubbing them to death yes. with the ground. Oh my god! Oh you my know what? God. That actually might be Freddy versus Jason. Oh shit! Is that why? I think so, it. I think okay. it is Freddy versus Jason because I fucking love Freddy versus Jason because okay. it's ridiculous. So so the kill me, scenes in that are all cause, insane. Okay. Cause I'm like, I don't know why this makes sense. Cause I no, think he's in a spaceship. <laughs> no, it's uh, Jason. No, you're right. Jason X is the one that's in space, but I think Freddy versus Jason is the one with the two girls in the sleeping bag. Where he, I'm pretty kills, sure it is. So he kills these two hot chicks that are like, hey, what's going on? That's so fuck. Good. 
He, like, next scene, the sleeping bag is completely zipped up, and he's got him cinched like a fucking laundry hamper, <laughs> yes. and he's now throwing them down, killing them, and you can hear both of them, and they're going, Aah! like, getting killed in the sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking awesome. God Such a great damn. scene. Very creative. Probably shouldn't kill say that's awesome. No, I I, nah, I, mean, it's a I, movie. I love kill scenes. Fair. I love kill scenes in <laughs> that horror is, movies. That the is more the creative time. the better because you can only like do stabbing so much. So, so like, seen, I love a good creative I've kill. I've only seen Final Destination 5. I think we talked about this Bro, too. Bro, okay, that <laughs> is your assignment this <laughs> month. <laughs> watch every single <laughs> Final Destination and you must watch them in order because yeah. it will it it makes a full like I've only you gotta seen watch five. Them. I've only seen five. How many there, are there? Oh my god! I think there's like six or seven now. No, there's there's I think there's six. Either five or six. Okay, I think I've seen the first two. Watch them all. Watch them all. all right. There's one that happens at a fucking well, the first carnival. One's got, the first one's got. There is dem- one. Oh, the carnival. Oh, the, car- oh. the roller coaster one is so good. <laughs> there is the 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 newest one. The last one in the series, either five or six. That one's actually really good. And then there's another one that is. Um, Fucking, there's a car wash. There was a kill that happens in a car wash. Oh, I that think I've seen great. that. I, I think I've seen that the one. The 3D <laughs> one. I think that one's the 3D one, which is maybe four or five. Oh, shit. God yeah, damn. they're all great. That, Un- that's unrelated, but I am now, I have just watched in the last three or four days, I have watched Star Wars Episode Two for the first time okay. all the way through. And Star Wars Episode Three. I watched that oh, last night. All right. Tell me now, what now, you now, think. So I watched Episode One. I rewatched that like probably about a month ago. Yeah. Oh and one and two were two the two is hardest. The worst. It's so fucking. It bad. is so, so bad. So bad. I paused so it bad. multiple mm-hmm. times. I'm like, like I can't do it. It's like no. we have to. I'm like, this is the worst fucking it movie. It is so bad. <laughs> so finally smashed out three. She doesn't really feel that we need to watch Solo. I'm not fucking with those animated movies. Like I'm no, not fucking I with don't, that shit. I'm the same with you. No, I don't do the I don't animated do the series. Animated. Yeah, like, I'm not I'm doing full, the shows. No, I'm watching no, no. the movies. Like, <laughs> like, I'm not, and all this that, ain't no. my jam. If yeah. it was my jam, or the jam, Lego remakes. Like I don't do. I'm not that. No, no, no. I do. I just do the live action yeah. ones. If, if, yeah. if, if this was my jam, I wouldn't have just watched Vader become Vader last night at 38. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so now you don't need it. You don't need it. So, like, she's like, we could just go straight to Rogue One. You could. Yeah, and then watch. Four, five, six, and then yeah. whatever the fuck else yeah, after yeah. that. Yeah. But but like she's like, you really don't need to watch Solo. You don't. You do not. It, Solo, I felt like was a gift for the fans. Like That's I mean, kind of what, you can you know, watch it in order, but like you could leave it out and be completely like everything. Fucking tough sense. because I'm kind of over watching. I was like kind of like stoked to get to this Hamill Harrison Ford shit that I've actually I haven't seen those a lot, but I've seen yeah. those like a yeah. half dozen times each. And those Rogue are one's good. good. Those are great. Well, and they they Rogue just, one's the one everyone says is the best. Rogue is great. I yeah, love Rogue, Rogue one. one. And they the Andor, which is the new Andor is the new one, right? But see, that's like a show. So you're not fucking with Mandalorian and all that. You know what? I just learned about all that Django Fetch shit on Here's the second the one. Thing. I'm like, oh, look at that. It's, it's all kind of cool, though, man. The TV shows are actually really good. See, I can't good. fucks with that yet. I, gotta, I, like, but, I don't have but time once for you, that right no, now. No, but once you get through all of them and... Like the Mandalorian, I mean, honestly, yeah, it's, the Mandalorian's really good. Yeah, like, it is. But you understand why I can't embark on that while I'm still trying to watch all these. No, no, no. I still gotta watch like seven. Well, no, they, the they actually fit in. To yeah, no, the whole I know. I, line, I understand you know? all that, but it's like I can't take a 20 hour diversion on my way to watch another movie that I haven't seen. No, just yeah. knock out the movies first, and then and then do the TV Fucking shows. Fucking a, though, yeah. man. Two and three. <sighs> Oh, two is yeah. dude, dude, two like. But the third, all those are like over two and change, like two. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, clocking in, in it. clocking in at two solid, the fucking movies. Yeah. If it wasn't for the ending of the third one, yeah. I would be equally mad that about was, the third that was, one. That but was, the, yeah. the way they chose to end it was that great. Was and cool. the, of course, CGI Yoda fight in yep. the third one yep. is great. That's great. The, I mean, the, the third one was definitely kind of what I kind of expected, but it's just two like. Two is trash. Two is absolutely But it trash. was just, by the time, and this is the thing, I was all those three movies, and I saw the first one in the fucking theaters, so it's like I, I was oh, yeah, part I of that, that hype, too. and yeah. everyone fucking hated it, and for yeah. good reason, but it's just like, all those movies have that same vibe. Yeah. And I also have heard shit about the, the other trilogy, that the, the back trilogy after that. that well, they everyone that. hated I, I The like Last them. Jedi. There are a lot of like really diehard fans yeah. that was really mad about The Last Jedi. Yeah. I fucking loved it. I, and I, I, loved I consider it, yeah. myself a big Star Wars fan, and but it's it's like very contentious within the Star Wars fan community. Like people either enjoyed it or they didn't. Yeah. And I just I was I just liked any Star Wars movie, so I'll watch them. But, like, I enjoyed The Last Jedi. Yeah. I thought it was well yeah, made. Totally. No, I, I just was kind of more excited to be, like, thinking that I was going to go one, two, three, and then 
four, five, six. No. Put Rogue One in there. Yeah, yeah Rogue be, One yeah. has to go yeah. in there. It's, it's, it's entertaining. It's, it's, but you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, 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 I'm feeling pretty good about not watching Solo. You. Yeah, don't. Yeah, you don't have to feel like, like that. you know what I'm saying? Like I fucking really am. I, dude, this is fucking God, dude. <laughs> get as fast as you can to four five six <laughs> yeah yeah four five six the, the one that the Is one tv one show four four yeah yeah it's yeah. in between it's the in between. they steal the plans or some shit right? exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. you get so the backstory on how yeah that's cool yeah. and it's the best setup to go right into to four like it's just it's a great nice movie. good bridge yeah. movie. Yeah. it is it's a great movie yeah, but the the so the tv show bubba fett the start of that one yeah was I was tingling with nostalgia yes. because I mean not to ruin it, but when Boba Fett dies, right in uh, what the fifth movie, fifth Return movie, of the Jedi? yeah, or, or no, um, uh, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. so he yeah. falls out of the ship into the sand and gets eaten up by the monster. Oh, that's right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah, that's the third one. Um, so that's where Boba Fett the show starts. He wakes up in that monster, still like being digested. Oh shit! Climbs yeah. out of that, and you're like, "Oh my god, yeah. this is like everything!" Like, you just like the story picks up so perfectly right there. But it's I, so great. Yeah, and the the TV shows are so well intertwined within the movies. I feel like they they like they hold up even if you aren't a Star Wars Definitely. fan, yep. like just as separate bodies of work. But if you are a Star Wars fan those little things like that, like going straight from that timeline or like the people that they bring yeah, in. I mean, and it's, it's just that's great. The, the one aspect about those three episodes, having now finally watched those now, uh, recently, uh, is understanding obviously where, where I know it goes, mm-hmm. but they, they, there's a lot of deliberate foreshadowing mm-hmm. comments. Yeah. It, you know, the continuity is very well done on that shit. Mm. That's, and that's what I appreciated about the yeah. first two. Yeah. Uh, you know, entertained by the third one. The first two, it was, yeah, just treacherous. Third but, one, see, it was, but there's a lot of story that they set up. Yeah. And, like, it makes so a lot more much. sense down the road when you so know that story. Shit, yeah. though, but like, yeah, so but much like, dialogue. <laughs> yeah, but it's just, like, we probably, we probably could have, you know, maybe done, like, if we got the sum of the first two movies of, like, about four and a half, maybe close to five hours. <laughs> probably. Yeah, okay. yeah, probably five hours. We could yeah. probably have done that and maybe three. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, I, you know, we could have fucking maybe not done that whole fucking first war with the fucking Naboo fucking fucking uh, Jar Jar Binks. Fucking yeah, yeah, they... I mean, everybody would be grateful to have Jar Jar Binks. Well, no, yeah. Fight for, for, yeah, obviously <laughs> that, but I'm just saying, like, like in the key, like, we could have this fucking trade federation shit. Yeah. We could still have all that. We can have mm-hmm. Palpatine being Palpatine. We could have just I feel like sped it, some of this along. It was maybe just we could have so... not had the whole grooming thing. Maybe, yeah. maybe have Queen Amidala not, like, fuck a kid. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, I know that's not the way it's broken down, but it's like, you know, it's. Kind of weird, yeah. kind of Woody Allen, <laughs> well, kind of adopting your wife kind of thing. It was also Woody just Allen. such a <laughs> sign Woody Allen of the times <laughs> of that, when those movies came out, like the 2000s. It was just such an icky time to be alive, like just as a human. And I feel like those movies are so indicative. Yeah. Just like, I wish those had waited like 15 years and then we had done those because we would have had the capacity to do way better storytelling. Uh, but I feel like in the early 2000s, we were just like, be, God it damn it, be. we were basic. You're not a Jedi but I should be. I'm like, oh, the dialogue. Fuck. So <laughs> like, angry. Dude, I'm so like, angry. oh, dude, I don't even know. Oh my God. Oh, That's so like, bad. I think what you just said is the funniest thing. The, the, the early 2000s were so basic. Yes. Like I didn't ever realize that until you said that. And, and was I just, feel like our brains just like, there's no continuity to no, it. No. And there, yeah. it wasn't any kind of like, like the movies that we make now and the TV shows that are getting busted out now, they're so smart and like really like boundary pushing. And I feel like, the early 2000s was just about like stuff that didn't matter, like surface stuff, and like yeah. I don't know, None like really the did. styles I were all I mean, I, I, even a lot of the music in general, you know, yeah, the genres were like just it, everything quote, was just quote, made basic. a lot of hay in, yeah. in the early, like that was like what you know, graduated in 02 and then did all the formative, like. Yeah. shit in all of those years yeah but yeah i mean the music was kind of forgettable and yeah. all the shit everything that was, all the shit was. that i was really kind of vibing with was or like especially the shows i was going to was always for shit that was still from the late 90s maybe right. even early 2000s yeah. yeah it wasn't like created in the wasn't 2000s. seeing 06 and 06 right. right minus the bear a little bit but not not a lot of the bands i was seeing yeah 
So I saw Black Keys. Bumber Shoot in 08 actually would be the last mm. time in which I kind of... But it is interesting. Kind of a yeah. bleh. Well, bleh. and I also think millennials as a generation, like, we we are the... We, that is our vibe. Like, I feel like we <laughs> struggle. Like, I feel like just... Compared to like Gen X, like Gen X has like the cool angst, Gen Z has the cool rage, and millennials are just here. Like yeah. we're just like, ah, isn't this pretty? Or like yeah. a pumpkin spice is great. Like I just feel like we're just the base, most basic generation, and we're just traumatized. Like we're we're obsessed with like celebrity culture and. I don't know, like kind of perma young in that sense. How often do you drink tea? Not very often. Yeah. No. Why? I, I drink tea often. I know. Well, yeah, that's kind of, kind of, yeah. yeah. Don't, don't meet a lot of don't meet a lot of yogis with their fucking monster <laughs> energy drinks in front yeah. of their fucking yeah. bullshit. <laughs> they don't roll up in their jacked up trucks and their yes. fucking chromed wheels. Yeah, <laughs> fucking millennial right there. Yeah. <laughs> Listening to Disturbed. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, man. Yeah, I had a kid when in the in two thousand four. So like even that would have been my formidable, you know, early twenties, shit like that. Yeah. And so like grew up quick, mm-hmm. you know, didn't really so my early twenties and actually through my twenties, not like it was a blur, but I didn't really experience like a fun, like existential kind of like yeah. fun twenties. Let's be free and do right, that right. shit. I was like having a family. And shit, yeah, so. totally. You jump started. <clears throat> so like my 30s and my 40s, I like look back more fondly in like the freedom kind of way. Yeah. But with the 20s, like I was very responsible in like doing that shit. So I guess it's funny because like when you say it was kind of blah, like I don't remember a lot you of didn't the culture miss anything. of any of that. Was the, because I was if, this family guy. You had to fast track and be responsible. The early 2000s is the time to do it. Okay, right <laughs> so like, right. yeah, You well, missed nothing. Well, time will tell on this one because obviously fashion and kind of shit will get thrown back, but I don't really or throw back and kind of become nostalgic. Mm-hmm. We'll really see. I mean, obviously video games, it'll still be, that'll still be, that's already happening. Like yeah. that, that like 15 years is kind of like the window, 15, 20 years, and then right. people start getting yeah. freaked out about it. Basically, kids get old enough to go buy their shit as adults that they used to have Mm -hmm. but like we'll see i don't think there's any there's no real fashion no and and the fashion that we had was making grown people look like children so like the women looked like infants like we dressed like we walked out of claire's like it was not an adult time to be an adult like we were even the celebrities like you look up like 2003 or 4 red carpet like they're wearing this little lo- like it looks like they shopped at the mall like and it's famous people that but have see, that access the thing is, to is the like, wealth and they just look like they walked out of fucking did players back then <laughs> yeah but that's yeah, what i mean yeah. like it, that was the culture online shopping was like you know amazon was there but it was not what it no, is it was, the Aeropost- then, it was like the time of the labels too so yeah. like abercrombie and fitch and Aeropostale and hollister, hollister and like yeah, that was fuck. the yeah. time of like it was just such a weird time to be alive and a, a child or an adolescent like that was just yeah yeah yeah. strange yeah i moved up here in 2001 so like it was even different culture for me mm-hmm. moving from texas up to here yeah so yeah that's a very big blur that's very interesting mm-hmm. i think about that a lot hmm. just how millennials kind of got the shaft culture wise <laughs> art wise <laughs> 9-11 all that shit you know right. <laughs> like yeah i like growing up in the 90s that oh was yeah fun for sure yeah as we sit here and lament, like, uh, oh, the the aughts or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> the other flip side of that is is that if you had the formidable years in the fucking, you know, 90s, you're now also in your early to mid and late 50s now. So yeah. there's that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah the, those are your new 40s. That's cool. As someone who's knocking on 40, that'll technically be my new 30. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, still. I'm not thrilled about it, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. We do that still in yeah. math. I'd still be in my new... Late 40s. <laughs> late 40s. My new late 40s. That's... Being 58. Yeah. I'm confused. The way the math works. Yeah, I, yes. Yes, I understand there's math <laughs> it involved. Makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> the way the math works. You have the freedom to be whatever it you want. There you go. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. So I guess with the five minutes we have left, <laughs> you want to talk about freedom? <laughs> What it means to you now well, that we've well, gone off you know, on all our tangents. As Zach De La Roca so impassionately said at a show that I will not be seeing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you poor bastard. Fucking A. 
Yeah. Fucking A. I don't know what he said. He, he just yelled freedom. He just yelled freedom. Yeah, 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 a lot. The end of yeah. that. And then you hear the mic feedback. And he throws it down. Thought I would finally get to see that live. I guess I do not. I guess millions of dollars was not enough. God yeah. damn. Do you think they'll go on tour again? I do not know. Mm. I really doubt it. I had my I'll doubts try to on manifest. This. I'll try to manifest I it I really you. appreciate those vibes. I would vibes. like to go too. We were actually, my brother and, uh, and Teresa and Monica and I were talking about going to like Texas or something like that to go, go to a that. show. Yeah. yeah. Like Dallas. I think they were playing in Dallas. Yep. That's heartbreaking. Yeah. It really is heartbreaking. That does suck. Son of a bitch. Damn. I don't think Graham Nash is going to be playing <laughs> Bulls on Parade tomorrow. I'll ask. You hey, never man. You know. never know. Like, I, now, straight up, I, I, I think this show, I could yell Bulls on Parade. He would definitely hear it. <laughs> <laughs> He'd consider it, I think. He'd consider it. <laughs> you see him working it out. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think I can pull off the chords. Gling glue. Gling glue. Gling glue. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would just say freedom for another day. Yeah, sure. There this has go. been nice. Hell yeah, just a random yeah. tangent. What's our t- what's our time? What's our time? Fifty five. Oh, per- look at that! Right, That's yeah. perf. There you go. Random just some good old it. fashioned fun That's tangent once episode. You, once, you, once you edit out all the shit I say, you'll be down to a good forty eight minute podcast. <laughs> you'll have a good one to go. <laughs> Actually, exactly. you know, I haven't, I haven't had to edit anything out in a the, long time. You know, it's yeah. like every, you know, those just the rants of like the drunk grandfather at Thanksgiving. You're yeah. like, oh, yes. yeah, sorry, <laughs> another glass of sherry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> glass of sherry. <laughs> Fuck me. All right. Good night, folks. Peace.